All right, let's lots to talk about with this tropical disturbance. It looks like it's going to have an impact on our weather Friday and Saturday, uh, trying to get better organized again. The other remnants of Agatha a hurricane that was in the Pacific Ocean moved across Mexico, sheared apart and now over open water again, very warm water. Northwestern Caribbean is some of the warmest water you'll see in the entire Atlantic Basin it headed toward the Gulf of Mexico, another area where water temperatures are more than favorable for additional development. A lot of shear going on here in the short term, but as it pushes closer to Florida, one of the models are latching onto a depression, maybe even a storm forming. And also the short term, uh, we're not going to feel any of the impacts through Thursday. Not bad at all. Uh, generally sunny, hot, humid weather, what we've seen lately. But as we get into Friday and Saturday, the leading edge works in later or, uh, later Thursday, early Friday. Uh, now an 80% chance of developing the next four to five days. There's also another little weather system east of the Bahamas has a 10% chance that won't have any impact on our weather. Here's one of many models. The Vipercast model keeps the rain to the south on Thursday. There's 4 p.m. We will see some showers and storms pop up, but just what we typically see this time of year. But by Friday morning, uh, heavier rains start to work in the leading edge. Looks like there'll be a little bit of a, a break in the afternoon and then it fires up again with potentially the most intense rain, the heaviest downpours later Friday in through early Saturday. The low is still back to the west at this point and the rain is uh, starting to break off from the center of that low and this may be a depression at this point as it moves inland around Naples or Fort Myers. You know, the tracks are, uh, the models are in fairly good agreement now that uh, it'll work in across southwest Florida. Florida, uh, but there's still a little shift to here and there and uh, well, it'll continue to update as we get into Thursday afternoon and Friday. The Vipercast model times a rain out starting on Friday morning, perhaps around sunrise and this could change too. It has changed this week. Look like later Friday, early Saturday. Uh, that the rain would start to arrive, but as this gets uh, a little bit better organized, the rain works in faster. There's 10 p.m. on Friday, heavy downpours into Friday night, into sunrise on Saturday. Most of the models picking up on several inches of rain, some even more than that. And uh, flood watch is uh, certainly possible heading into the weekend, the first part of the weekend. It's also known as Invest 91, so we're getting the spaghetti model tracks on it, taking it across South Florida. So the impacts, uh, rain squalls, heavy downpours, Friday, Friday night into early Saturday, flood watch possible, and gusty winds through at least later Saturday before it begins to improve.